Okay, and now we're back with the deck editing. Alright, before I go any further, first of all, I found this amongst all my comments, so I must have missed Bonnaroo. Feel sorry for the poor monkey. And I found this. Now, see, when I was opening the packs, one of them was slightly, one of them opened up from the bottom. I was like, what the hell? Now I know why. Take a look at that. This is, this one of the Spike Brothers. It's the Demon, Demon Summoner, but if you look at the side of it, I'm not sure if you can see it that well, but if you look at the base, it's being cut off. Basically, also, when it was printed, it was cut off at the base, but it's got, like, a funky ribbon, sort of like a ripple pattern at the base where the card is, where the pack is slap, slammed shut. This obviously kept it open by just a tiny bit, so you got, like, a slight imprint, which is quite funky, really. I mean, comparing it to the back of it, but basically all it's missing is the complete writing that says Bushy Road. And the base, that's what it says. It just says Bushy Road and all rights reserved in half of it. So it must have been pushed in, but didn't slide sh fully shut. So got a, a slightly, slightly crisp cut for this poor defenseless spike rubber. So yeah. Anyway, now that I've got that out of the way, it is now time to begin. So let's start off with let's go Mike Garrett since I had now. Nah, let's do the Mike Garrett last. So let's f get out all the cards. So in the so you you're familiar if you're all familiar with my last um, deck profile, I showed you exactly what I was running. Um, what I was planning to keep. Since I didn't exactly get everything I needed just yet, I can only edit so much. So let's go with what I've got currently. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, one of my friends calls this the derpy dog. I'm pretty sure it's just because of the blank gaze and the tongue and it's like Wingle, the derpy dog. Like, yeah. Yeah, you can say that. And of course, I use this just to mess with because that's, if you look at that, it looks like Judgment Dragon in reverse. I put that build flow. So it's sort of, you know, it's like your your great destructive dragon is a dog in replication. So yeah, so there's my two Bart Gould, there's my two, sorry, my two Alfred, my um, two Lohan Grin. Where is he? My Blaster Blade, alternate art. The Flugel, the Wingle, um, Lou, Flu, uh, that's, yeah, so we got another Blaster Blade, another Gancelot, Crimson, like Bridget, Soul Loot, Wingle, and Galatid Right, so let's pack these all together in their grades, ones, twos, and threes. Right, let's start with the grade three segment to, uh, yeah, I think, uh, Sorry. Okay. So that's the grade and then grade zero. Right, yeah. So the grade threes, I'll start at the top. So we've got my Alfreds, my Lohan Grin, my Gancelot, and my Crimson Light Bridget. Now if we go to the current grade three as I got, I only got one, which is the Soul Saver Dragon. What I want to do is I want to swap the Soul Saver out of this. Now swap, so I swap soul, soul Saver out with one of the units. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down a unit in the Gansler because I'm going to be running less Blaster Blade, so I don't need to have her, him nor her in there now. I can go with the Soul Saver, though I could do a second Soul Saver at one point. So yeah. Um, since we've got one Soul Saver, I'll probably only need one Pongo for the time being until I can get more. But I'll probably run two just in case to get more chance of getting Soul Saver search out. So yeah, so I go down to two gates a lot, one, one soul saver. So everything else most days the same, but as the time progresses, I'll run. I'll take one out to run three soul saver and one Gancelot. So I'm going to keep Bridget's just because I can recycle Gancelot to switch out Blaster Blade units. But yeah, so that's my current grade. So that's my new grade three setup for the time being. Oops, now everything's going away. So yeah, I decided to keep the SP... Against lot with that as well. Right, so yeah, that's the grade three second. I'll put that down there. Now to grade two. So as you remember, I ran four Blaster Blade and four Galatin. Now the grade twos gave me Arcane, Baron, and the Gordon, so it's, yeah, pretty sure I can get more of that. One. Hmm, that's annoying. Could have swallowed one more, can't I? 
Oh. Alright. Anyway, since I'm using Lohan Grin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out two Blessed Minions. So I'm going to take up two starter deck ones to put in two Arcane. This will basically boost up my field. And I'm going to run two Baron. And I'm going to run. Actually, no. And two Galatin. Hmm. No. Sphinx. Now we're going to go with. I'm going to take out two Galatin as well to put in two Barons. Put in two Gordon. So the Grade Freeze. Actually, yeah, because that's now nine in it. Yeah, I'll ditch. A Bridget. Now what am I thinking? I'll ditch a Gantelot. I'll keep the Bridget for the time being. I might sort that actually into another um into another uh low hand green actually now. I think about it. So yeah, so I'm gonna go with two barons. Two Gordon for the intercepting S class. Two really all I'm gonna need in this deck. And then two Arcane. Eight. And one short there. Oh yeah, because I'm taking out one Bartle as well. So yeah, this is the eight grade, I was the ten grade two, so I'm running two Baron, two Arcane, two Gordon, two Blaster Blade, and two Knight of Silence Galaton. So that's now covered the grade three and the grade two. Now to grade one. So we've got two soul loot, we've got two Starlight Unicorn, four Wingle, two uh, three Lane and four for uh, Marin. So let's see what I got for that. So I got the Young Pegasus Knight, I got the Pongol. Three Pongol as well? Yeah. And of course I also got three Soul Guiding Elf. Now I don't need the Soul Guiding Elf because I don't plan to use her Counter Blast to really benefit my deck. So there's no re really, really reason to put this in my deck. So that one's out already. But the Free Pongol and the and the um, Young Pegasus Knight, well let's see. I'm going to basically... I'm going to leave the two Starlet Unicorn for the time being. Oh yes, where's my folder? Because I need to swap back to another card as well. Yeah, so I'm going to put in a, another Soul Loot alongside two Pongol and the Young Pegasus Knight. That's what I'm going to make the changes on. So let's just make some adjustments in here a section as well. Forgive me a minute. I'll put all of them in here to kind of make some space, but I can put most of it away. Time being, get in there. Yes. Um, I'll put this blaster with the promo blaster. So yeah. So with this, let's see then. Well, the so young Pegasus Light is going to work with the new cards picked up, so I'm going to swap out the Liane to put in the Pegasus. That's going to go away. Let's see, then the two Pongol will replace um, two, two Wingles. So I'll go over there and replace a Wingle. So I've only got two Blasters. I'm not exactly going to be benefactual off the, off the, um, benefactoring off the combo now as much. Oop. Sorry about that. Yeah, that would be um, K. 
That'd be um, Simon himself. Just quickly make a text, sorry about this. Yes. Right, so the wing will go away, and then the, the soul loot will replace another. Let's see, I'll keep the heavy boosters. I'll go. Yeah, that might work. I'll go down a Marin. I'm sure I'm going down an 8k booster, but I'm also. But I'm not exactly aiming for the high. I'm may, maybe truly not aiming for high boosters, but I'm aiming for something to add more protection to myself as well. So it's it's gonna it's sort sort of a downside as well as an upside almost. The Marin are sort of gonna be there for the bike beginning because then later on I've got Arcani to pick up field, so I've got four targets anyway. So yeah, as you can see, that's my field going with three assault loot, one young Pegasus Knight for the time being until I get a few more Marin. Two Pongal. Yeah, I didn't pull in the SP, damn it. Um, two Wingle. Two Yelene. Two Unicorn. So, yeah, that's um, the grade ones section. So, I've got a new two, seven, eight, two, seven k boosters to go alongside that now. A new level one is 6k. And then one, I don't know, we've now got. So yeah, three no guards in this royal deck. Finally, we're on to the last section, grade zero. So of course we've got the usual. And we've got the I swapped as this, as you saw, I took out a bark gold to put in um, a grade two. So yeah, the standard thing. We keep the three the four liane. The form flogal stay. The criticals all stay, so nothing changes in those. The only cards that are changing are... Oh, I just realized I made a mistake. As well, because I've got some cards I want to put in. So the Margul are going in... No, not at all. But good triple R's at that. I don't care if I didn't get... Okay, uh, sorry about that. My mic must have cut out halfway through this video. Anyway, yeah, so I swatch out, swap out the Java, um, Gavanan for the free Margal. Um, this is to boost up the Salt Young Pegasus Knight Plus. It's to give me a more useful draw trigger as opposed to just being something to guard with. Um, also, at this current point, I realized I made a mistake in my um, grade freeze, as you're about to see. Just give me a moment. Yeah, when I was looking at the grade freeze, I forgot to remember, I rem just remembered that I had the... Um, um, gigantic charges, the gigantic charter, and I was like, ah, I need to put those in. So I've taken out the, as you can see, I've taken out the Crimson Knight Bridget to put the charges in. This is to help me boost the field with um, Alfred. So yeah, um, um, people tend to say that Alfred, this um, gigantic charge is no good because you tend to pop a trigger over him. But I tend to use him in more favor when I have like a, a good open space. That way I can put Alfred with two monsters for, to give him plus four K as opposed to before. So yeah. As you can see there, I'm running an eight, an eight card setup. It looks like. Yeah, I'm running eight, um, eight grade three, along with um, st yeah, the standard um, eight grade three, sub ten grade, tw yeah, ten grade two, fifteen grade one, seventeen grade zero. Hopefully I'll get more soul saver in that time. Yeah. So that was a I'm not really gonna put any music in it. As you can see there, I'm trying I'm just explaining stuff um before. I can't remember exactly, exactly what I said because I'm was I'm just like playing on thing. But yeah, that's the most broken combo, yeah, using Bark Gal with Soul Saver that and um, Bark Gal with Soul Saver. Get the five cards into soul, get the Soul Saver out. Yeah. So yeah, I've caught myself out here doing this. I don't even know what I'm just explaining. I'm just, ex I'm just still explaining the whole Soul Saver Bark Gal combo. But yeah, um, give me a moment. Yeah, as you saw, I swapped out some another loose. I put now into three nullifiers into my deck. Those cards are mine anyway. Yeah, but now um, we're on to uh, the Kagero units. 
the Kagero, yeah. So I'm splitting up my grades like before, the grade ones, twos, threes, and the zero. This will now be done to search for it more effectively. Um, when I was going with the plan for design on this, um, I was thinking to myself that, well, basically, when they got all the capacity of this booster box, these books will give me exactly what I required to complete my current Kagero deck. So, this was basically my. I already had an idea of what I wanted to do, I just had to get it done. So, yeah, with the free bla um, Blazing Flare, that just basically made, was the piecing on, that was a piecing on the cake to um, set it all up. So yeah, as you can see there, I'm just taking all, moving all the things. I'm with the Tars, the Bars, the Berserk Dragons, the co Go, the Gojo, heal triggers, draw triggers. Basically, this the original deck was a was a high was the high trigger rate, high um, critical. The deck still is high critical, but I'm still but I'm increasing the draw triggers, so I'm dropping down two critical trigger to raise the um, draws. I'll get around to that as soon as I finished um separating all that. So yeah. So you can see there, I've got my elf in grade one, twos in three, and here we go. I'm just taking them all apart. Yeah, so I've got my grade zeros in one section, grades three, so I'm taking that now. The grade two, and the grade ones. Okay, I should start on the grade three as before. <clears throat> I tend to when I build a deck, I tend to work it on grade threes beforehand, as opposed to as you can see. I'm kind of going through my book, my book to make sure I don't need um, some specific cards out beforehand. But I'm I don't need them at the end. I think. Oh wait, no, I do. I did need one. Yeah, it was the. Was it? Yeah. No, I should be taking one. It was the Vortex Dragon, I believe, correctly. Anyway, so yeah, I've got the three um, Dragonic Overlord, one Vortex Dragon, the three Alpha, and one Goku. Okay, so now looking into my cards, I take, of course, out. I don't. At, at the end of it, I chose not to use the Blockade. I had contemplated the begin with, but I thought, nah, I won't use Blockade. I'll use the free Blazing Flare, of course, and. I'm going to swap out the Goku for a Vortex Dragon. I'm using the Vortex to boost the soul. So even if I don't get, um, I, even if I get the Superior Ride off, I'd still ride on top of um, Blazing Flare the next turn with um, Vortex Dragon if I get it. Because Vortex Dragon then allows me to soul charge those extra cards. So if I can get a few turns buying and get to 10 in the soul, it's more beneficial to me. I don't tend to use the Vortex Dragon. I wouldn't tend to use the Vortex Dragon now. As I tend to use the blazing flare, but in all for benefactual reason, I can still I still get a good use out of it. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just as I was saying to get the free blazing flare dragon in these four boxes. It has it made my day as well to get the basically this as I said this completed my Kagero deck because I needed ble free blazing flare. And I didn't think I'd get them, so to get them was quite good. So yeah, there's the first one. Though I was, uh, as I said, I was a little bit annoyed that I didn't get any SP, but then again, get as I said again, getting them made made all the difference, including getting that soul saver for the previous set. Yes, yeah, so I got the free Dragonic Overlord, the free Blazing Flare Dragon, and the two Vortex Dragon to power up the soul. Yeah, so. That moves on to now the next thing. Um, as I said, blockades. I chose not to use. I might go into it. Depends if I really want to have one vortex dragon. I mean, vo blockades good, but not perfect. So you can see there, I've got my four Nehalem, two Alf, two Tages, three um, three Berserk. And as you can see there, I'm swapping out the full um, Alpha and the Tages into four Core Dragon. This is to get my superior ride off more effectively. But you can see that currently I'm at 12. Um, so yeah, as I said, I've got the tw so basically I've got the highest point of grade two. So drawing into the grade two vortex dragon might be a little bit more difficult, but I've got the effect. I'm using the effects of the Ber blaze the berserk dragon as well. Just trying to remember if I um 
ditched out anything. Just looking through the card cards now. Oh yeah, I did ditch out some to get some else. Um, but yeah. So as you can see, I'm just searching through the Sutherland. No, I didn't use. I didn't. Sutherland, in my opinion, wouldn't work with this deck. The Burgers, I saw more potential in. Because of their, they're basically they're just to scare the opponent. If the Burger appears, the opponent's going to be tend to be more inclined to attack the Burger as opposed to attacking the Vanguard because. Basically, Burgess is just to it's just a lure, either to intercept the attack or just to act as a decoy. But as you can see there, I'm going with the one Burgia and the three Berserk Dragon, the three, four Blazing Core Dragon, and the four Nehalem. So I've got the boot, the Superior Ride, the High Beaters, the Back Row Killers, and the, and the S Class Guard. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, as you can see, I'm going into my Grade Ones. So I've got the two Wyvern Strike Barry. Well, we've got Barry, four Bar, four Airmo, and three Gojo. Now, I instantly I've got the four um, Iron Tails, so I need to get rid of what I don't need. So the, what I take out here, of course, is oh yeah, and you can see I've got the three Kim Nara. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to take out the three Gojo to put in the three Kim Nara. So that's the first part out of the way. So those are my back row kill the booster killers using the Kim Nara. So I'll put it there the soul what use for soul effective charging. So once they're so as they go into play, then I can't contemplate to myself what do I need here to really make the deck more effective. And I came to the decision that um, being that Iron Tail, I mean, I've, Airmo Bar are both good in their own right, but I had to balance out the the uses for um, Iron Tail. So I basically ditched the two Airmo, the two Bar, as I, as I was saying before. It may not be a good idea, but if I need to, I can just use an Iron Tails Cataplast of one to put him into a um, 8k beta. Uh, I'll get a message here. Okay, and I'm back. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, as you can see there, I swapped out four ammo, uh, two ammo, and two bar for the Iron Tail. So yeah, so, so I got the two, well, two, yeah, so two ammo, two bar, two Barry, four Iron Tail, and four Kim. Now the Iron Tails are to try and successfully complete my Counter Blast. With that, so as I said, I'm sure people will probably say it's not a bad, a very good idea. But as I said, I can counter blast with Iron Tail if need be to attain a bar level attack power. I don't need to do much else. So yeah, that's all the grade ones done. I made no mistakes when I was making the Kagera unlike the Royal Paladin. So there's no, you won't see me going back. So as you can see here, I've got my four Gatling Claw Dragon, which I need essentially. So I'm swapping out the two Monica for the draws. So they can get the grade zero retirement. I'm keeping the stands, keeping the critical. As you can see there as well, the two critical, four, six critical. So you can see there I'm ditching out the TARS. Because with Raksha, um, Raksha can get me 6k if I were to put it behind in this kind of deck power. Because if I retire a rear guard, I promise rear guard, I can then make it a 6k beta. So it's stronger in this format. So I'm keeping the Raksha. So yeah, I've got the six rack shot, four rack shot, two tar with two um um two grand lu um stand trigger and the four genjo for the heal. So as you see, I'm swapping those two out and those two out for the um, Gatling claw dragon. This is to help give me more chances. This gives me now twelve cards to try and fit into a successful superior ride. Um, I'm keeping the Conroe, of course. The Conroe is just there as it. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but I use Conroe just as a distraction. I don't necessarily need to use it. Um, if I take two damage, I might possibly, if I don't have it and I have the other piece required, so say I have Blazing Core Dragon in play, I might use Iron Tail um, get Conroe's ability, move it to the right thing to get Gatling Claw Dragon, cool Gatling Claw, and then Superior Ride, but I re I don't like to use um, Comoro for that. It's only if I feel, it's only if I need the necessary requirements. Of course, Comoro tends to stay and wait out for a near end game effect. So as you can see there, I've taken, I've sorted out my grade zero. And the video is now coming to a close. So yeah, as you can see there, that was, this is the majority deck. I'm contemplating though right now to maybe swap one of the um, yes, sorry about that. Um, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, 
Have a nice day, everybody.